Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Axe, and today I'm gonna to show you how to turn your favorite websites into ad-free Android apps. I'm not gonna say any names, but some of the most popular web services have absolutely terrible Android apps that basically only serve to eat through your battery life. And this issue has spawned a new trend that we like to call light apps, which are third-party offerings that basically render the mobile website for one of these web services, but in a nice native wrapper. It ends up saving a lot of battery life versus the official app, and you really don't lose any functionality, so it's a win-win. But not every web service has one of these light apps, so developer Chimbori created a utility that lets you create your own light apps. And not only does it offer a personalized interface to wrap your favorite websites in, but it also blocks ads by default, so there's a bit of data savings involved too. The app that does all this is called Hermit, and it's free on the Google Play Store, so search it by name to get it installed, or use the link in step one in my full tutorial. Now when you first launch the app, it offers to give you a feature tour, but that's what I'm here for. So basically, start by tapping the floating action button, then this next menu lets you either enter your own URL or pick from a handful of preset templates. The templates will be a little easier, so let's start with one of those. Now regardless of if you entered a URL on that first screen or if you picked a template, the rest of the process will be the same. Once you're sitting right here on the main page, aka the place you would like your app to start, just use this field at the bottom of the screen to name your light app, and then press the plus button. From here, tap create, then you'll be taken to your new app. At the same time, Hermit will add an icon to your home screen so that you can get to this app easily. Then, the first thing you should probably do is log into the website. So let me take care of that real quick. Now from here, open the side navigation menu and head to customize. This is where the cool stuff is. Basically, you can change almost any aspect of your new light app. And options here include pull or refresh, a full screen mode, and even the ability to open links in your light app. Beyond that, you can see that it's blocking ads by default, and there's some other options for adjusting how the page loads. Then, on the Themes tab, you can change the way your new app looks and feels. The status bar and action bar can both be colored however you want them to be, and you can use this menu at the bottom to add a custom app icon. From there, you can bookmark links within your site, but the integration tab is far more interesting. For starters, you can set up notifications, which means that your Light app can even let you know when you've got a new message. Then you can even enable search integration, so it's a very functional app. But when you have everything set up to your liking, you're ready to try out your new Light app. Like I said, you'll find the app sitting right there on your home screen, so just tap it to get going. The interface is nice and native, but because it's just a web page and a wrapper, it won't eat through your battery. Really, it's a great alternative to bloated official apps, but at the same time, it can also act like a more deeply integrated bookmark. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.